Alan, good news on the transfer front with the announcement that Liam Fontaine has signed a two-year contract. What are your thoughts on that piece of news? I think it's it's fantastic news uh, for us today. You know, we've we've been discussing with Liam over the last well, literally since the since the season finished, and the discussions have always been positive. And you know, we we knew that Liam would would attract attention from from other clubs and, and that's certainly been the case and the fact that he's 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 signed and you know is a is a huge feather in in, in our cap the fact that we've managed to, to get it across the line and um, it's a it's a really exciting signing for the for the club. I think the the fans you know understand how important Liam was last season and the role he played within the, within the team. And I, and I think they'll be really excited by the fact that we've managed to, to get um, Fonts on a two-year contract. From your perspective as head coach, how important is it to have some level of continuity within the squad? Because the defence will pretty much be as, as it was last term. Yeah, I, I, you know, I think that was one thing that, that I, I really wanted to try and push forward is that you know, last season, obviously, we, 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 we all knew the position of the, of the, the squad. Uh, and the club, and, and I'm I'm really excited by by the, where we are now compared to then. You know, th there's nothing better than football than continuity, especially when you've got good players. And I, and I feel as if you know the club is making really positive strides to 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 address everything. And they've they've been I've got to say they've been they've been great in in getting all these deals across the line. You know, and not just the club, but but the fans have played a huge part in that. You know, with with the shares, with renewal of season tickets, which you know I'm sure there'll be there'll be more. You know, signings like this can only help push the club in one direction, and you know it's it's a it's a, a real collective uh, togetherness that we can we can take the club forward. You know, we we I think there's still definitely room for improvement in in the the season tickets. Uh, you know, I think there's a real um, togetherness now that everybody is is pulling and pushing in the right direction, and hopefully, you know, this will be um, one of the ones that that whets the appetite for the for the fans again to really, if they were thinking about renewing, renewing now. Speculation is always rife during a, a transfer window, especially a yeah. summer transfer window. But to what extent do you feel it's been counterproductive from our perspective because there has been all these rumours surrounding Scott's future here at the club? Well, I think you, you you have to take a lot of it with a pinch of salt. You know, we've we've gone through a period where there's no football, so you, you, you know there's there's lots of speculation uh, with players coming and players going. So, as far as I'm concerned, you know, speculation and teams wanting your players is is a good thing. You know, I, because it means I've got good players, and Scott's certainly not the only good player that I've got at the club. You know, we've. I think because we've done it very early, Fraser is another important member that's that's resigned. David Gray is another important one that's resigned. Fonts today is another one. You know, and you add into the mix of of Danny, and and James, and and Martin. You know, they're all really good signings for the football club. And you know, you know the fans have got something to be excited about, but. You know, the more that we can sell season tickets and the more shares that we sell, obviously the, the better it is for the playing squad. And, you know, whether it's me as the, as the head coach, whether it's the, 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 the club, whether it's the fans, we all want the best for the team, uh, sorry, for the club. And that ultimately is, is what goes on the pitch. And the more that we can, we can sell season tickets, the more that we can sell shares, the better and stronger the team will be on the pitch. And I think over the last year, I think the fans have been excited by, by what we've brought to the club, you know, and, and, and if we're in a position, then we will, we will look to bring in even more excite, exciting quality players if we're allowed to do that, you know, and the fans are, are going to play a huge part in that. That brings me on to the next question. Let's deal in transfer fact and not fiction. Okay. Whereabouts are we with regards to recruiting a goalkeeper for the, for the new campaign? 
Well, we're not at the stage, Andrew, where we're asking you to put your gloves on yet. <laughs> so that is that is uh, welcome news. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Okay. So we're 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 close. We're 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 hopeful that we're going to have some some positive news over the next 48, 72 hours. You know. So we 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 are we've been active all summer. You know. We 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 really have. Of you know, I've been on a break, but I've been in contact with 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 Graham. Uh, who's who's in charge of the recruitment, head of recruitment, and this is no exaggeration. I've been in charge of them at least three times a day, virtually every day over the summer. So that's and that's about a lot of different players. So you know, I would be more disappointed if I never had one phone call from Graham. The fact that I've had plenty, you know, tells you how hard he's working, and and we are working as a club to 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 make the team on the pitch even stronger. Well, see, Fonts re-signing strengthens the defence. We've seen a couple of departures from the midfield area and also uh, Frank JJ yeah. has now officially left the club as well. Does that mean that you'll be looking to perhaps bring in a midfielder or even another attacking player? What's the, the general kind of, What's on your shopping list? Um, well, I will, I'm obviously s still looking to bring in another centre midfield player. You know, I th that is an area where now we, we need to to strengthen, obviously, with Liam and, and Scott going, which, you know, I think it's important to say I wish all the best because they were, they were, they were great while they were here and they played a, a big part in, in us, you know, doing what we did last season. And I've, you know, with, with moving to this season, I've had to make some difficult choices uh, and difficult decisions. And unfortunately, that was, that was two of them. Um, but we wish them all the best in, in the, in the adventures, wherever that leads them to, and and they they go on with with you know the best regards for me and the rest of the players in the club. I'm, I'm sure. Dylan McGeer was obviously a key player in our push for promotion yeah. last season. He's obviously still technically contracted to Celtic, but yeah. have you had any dialogue with them about potentially bringing him back here on loan or even on a permanent basis? No. Well, Dylan uh, Celtic have obviously taken up the option of. Of Dylan's contract, and that's you know for another year. So he is Celtic's player, and I think it's wrong to speak about players that, that are that are with other clubs, even though some seem to be speaking quite a bit about about my players at this club. Um, but you know, we will we will have contact with Celtic and see whether there's a possibility that we there's something that we can do. But it will be done in the right manner and not through the media. And obviously, there's. Other speculation doing the rounds that Sam Stanton, Danny Handling could potentially be allowed to leave yeah. on loan. Yeah. Just for the benefit of our viewers here on Hibs TV, can you clarify what, what's the latest scenario there? The, the latest scenario was that um, we... The one thing I, I, I want to be is very honest with the players. And even though you can't guarantee any player in the team a starting lineup, uh, we we've... We've stated to the agents very early that you know we can't guarantee them a place in the team. So that's that's what, what we've done, you know. And and basically that does say if they want to stay and fight for the place, then then fantastic. But if they feel as if they they want to be playing week in and week out, uh, then that's that that is their prerogative, you know. So. That's that's the situation, and uh, that's exactly how it w it was. I don't know whether how, how it's been put. You know, I think in one or two so is that we've told them that the surplus to requirements. And that is not the case. You know, we've we have said that we, if they are prepared to fight for the place, then then fine. But if they want to play week in and week out, uh, which every player I'm sure, and they're no different, then we can't guarantee them that. Just looking then ahead towards. The start of pre-season, uh, the training kicks off at the training centre, but also at Queen Margaret University yep. as well. Is it just going to be a case of some intense sessions to kick off with, and then getting back to to football? I think it, the f the first the first day predominantly will be um, tests, as in um, your iron sample, uh, skin folds, which will be uh, basically body fat, measuring the body fat, um, and then. There will be some uh, muscle exercises to see whether uh, there is any d 
deficiencies in, in between uh, hamstrings and, and, and thighs and you know so we're, we're trying to introduce you know cutting edge um, methods to, to help us prepare best for, for the pre-season and the Queen, Queen Margaret University have been fantastic in, in, in working alongside us to do this you know which I'm which we're really happy with and, and lucky that we can use their, their facilities that they're, they're providing. Uh, and it, it'll give us an idea of, of where the players are, rather than just throwing them in at the deep end very early. Um, and, and you'd run the risk of, of injuries. Finally, Alan, Rangers are perceived to be our main challenges for the championship title yeah. during the upcoming season. They've made a few behind the scenes changes over the course of the summer, appointing Mark Warburton mm. and David Weir uh, there. What, what are your thoughts on that? Because you obviously know David quite well, don't you? Yeah, well, I know obviously David um, really well through obviously playing and, and being, uh, doing some coaching with him at Everton. Uh, and, I've, and I've come across Mark on, on a number of occasions and we've had some, some good discussions about, about, about football and, it, I'm sure they'll do do really well. You know, they've 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 really hit it off at, at Brentford, and they've they've got a, a good. Seems like they've got a good chemistry amongst themselves. You know, Dave Davey's a he's a he's a very intelligent lad. Um, off the pitch, on the pitch, he was he was just the same, and I'm sure they'll be, you know, a real force to to come up against this season. You know, it's it's a huge job job they've got. You know, there's, there's a lot of pressure on them because they, they have to go up, you know, so um, it'll be it'll be interesting, you know, because we've got a we've got a good team. I'm sure Mark and, and Davy will will look to, to be very active in the in the transfer window and, and bring in a team that they feel is is gonna be competitive. So it's got the makings of, of being an, another really exciting season along with all the other teams. Uh, Saint Mirren I'm sure will be there. They will have to, you know, get in the playoffs. I'm sure. You know, he's, um, Wraith are going to be going to be strong. Um, Falkirk, I'm sure, will will want to definitely get in the playoffs this season. Queen of the South, unfortunately, have been decimated by the majority of the better players. But um, James done a fantastic job last season. I'm sure he'll be determined to do the same again. And then you know you've got Morton coming up, Livingston. You know, so it's going to be it's going to be a, a tough league again. You know, it's, and one that we're really looking forward to. I can't wait. To, you know, it, this is the first day before officially our first day that I'm back in, and and I'm and I'm really excited. And you know, and the fact that we're here speaking about fonts uh, signing, you know, just whets the appetite even more. Cheers, Alan. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you.